Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome to another Buzzing Walkabout here on Buzzing Pathaya. And uh, today I'm down here at the very junction at the beginning of Soy Bacal on uh, Pattaya Glang. And uh, we're gonna head up, just uh, have a walk up here, see what's going on. Uh, there are a few things I wanna show you, uh, just really just to continue the city walk around that I promised I would do, and I'm still doing, and man, I've got so much more yet to do. Uh, but hey ho, bit of weird day today. This morning, absolutely bucketed down and now it's about 300 degrees. So, uh, well, it feels like it is anyway, but yeah, so it's a bit of mix and match at the moment. So uh, if you have a look on the map now, you'll see exactly where I am. And like I say, we're gonna head up, have a walk around, see what's going on, show you this part of the city and uh, in the continuance of our walk around. Right, let's spin the camera. There's something behind me. I wanna show you what it is. I don't know what it is. You guys stood behind me there? Oh, bless him. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you this, uh, this food. I don't know what it is. And I tried to ask, but she told me something I've really got no idea. But let's have a look. Here we go. Right, here we are. Right, so now, I don't know why that guy was stood behind me. <laughs> no idea. Right now, what is this? Guys, who knows what that is? It looks like kind of like jello. It looks like rind, pork rind. And there's another one over here. But I really have no idea what they are. Any idea what they are? Do you know what they are? No? No, me neither. Oh well, and uh, if you want some food, here you go, look. Grab yourself some duck. And they make all these different dishes here, look, here we are. Have a look in there. I must admit, I love street food. Street food is just the best. All right, okay, so anyway, let's have a head up. So right now, right in front of me, uh, that is soy cow. And if you turn down there, literally just on the corner, in fact, here, look, if you're on a taxi, so look at these prices, man. So uh, there you go, to Pau, uh, eight, 800 baht. Bangkok Airport, 1,000 baht. Dong Muan, 1,500 baht. Bangkok City Center, 13, oh, there you go. So, uh, and this guy is sat here, right in the very corner of Soi Bacau and Bataya Klang. So uh, if you are looking for a, a taxi, there you are. And that's the gentleman there. There you are. Okay, now across the road there, look over there, guys. I'm not gonna go into Bacau because we've done that one. But right across there, in fact, I'll show you, I'll just show you very quickly. Uh, it's Mr. Jack. Now, if you like your watches, your high-end quality watches, then uh, Mr. Jack is the man for you. Oh, hello, uh, knock me over then. There you go, this is Mr. Jack. And uh, go in there, he's got a huge selection, huge selection of uh, very, very good watches. And he does a repair service. Okay, let's start our journey. I love watching these bikes go across the road. Look at them, they run the gauntlet. They're just like, yep, I'll go now. Doesn't matter, let's have it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna head up now. Now I'm heading up towards Big C. Uh, if you've never been in the Big C, that's always worth the journey. Have a wander around, they're like big supermarkets. And uh, I think she's hot. Uh, quite a few massage shops up here. And yes, the answer to that thought. So uh, there are massage shops, but when you walk around, be very careful, look at the road here, look. You've gotta be very, very aware of what's going on here. It's not very friendly. Uh, let this gentleman go past, no problem. Nice hat, look at that hat. That's a coin, I like your hat boss, very nice. <laughs> I think I should get one of those. Uh, but yeah, so here you go, lots of massage shops here. So come down and get yourself a foot massage, a oil massage, a Thai massage, a happy massage, you name it kind of massage, you can find it. And uh, just up here ahead, up ahead in the far distance here, we've got uh, the K Football Stadium. Now, if any of you like to play football and uh, you're looking for some exercise, this place is very busy on a Wednesday. How you doing, buddy? You guys? Hey, how you doing? Um, very, this is very busy on a Wednesday and particularly on a Sunday. On a Sunday, they have an expats league. Uh, you can come down here and join in. I'll just show you up here. They've, this is brand new. They've, they've just started making this. Uh, that's relatively new. And up here are the, uh, the football teams where they play. Uh, what I will say, guys, is uh, be very careful. And I say be very careful for the simple reason being it's not unheard of for a late tackle to come in on us flangs. So uh, you heard it here first, and there you go, look. There you go, that's the pitch. And I played on there many, many times back in the day when I first came out here. I played for iRovers with Simon and that. Great, we had great fun. 
we never won the league, but uh, we won a few tackles. And we'll leave it at that. And there's a smaller one just this side, uh, just in there. So yes, if you want to have a bit of exercise, come down. Uh, truthfully, I can't honestly tell you the exact times right now. I'm not sure. It used to be about uh, four or five o'clock it used to be. Um, that may have changed, but you'll certainly sweat out a few kilos. And like I say, be careful of the tackles. You remember the old Eric Cantona tackle, the flying kung fu kick? Uh, where was that? It was Crystal Palace, I think, wasn't it? Was it Crystal Palace? Yeah, it was Crystal Palace. And uh, trust me, you wouldn't be uh, offended if you didn't find a few of those coming in at you. I mean, look at this, look. See what I mean about it? We've had rain, and now it's boiling up. But you've got to be very, very careful. Tread carefully here, guys. Especially if you had one or two sherbets and you're a bit wobbly. You might want to be careful. So we're heading up now, uh, up here on the left-hand side. In the distance is Big C. And uh, as I say, if you haven't been there, have a look in there. It's good. Very good. The old taxi driver, they look chilling out. Fair play. He's fast asleep. <laughs> and uh, there you go, if you need your shoes repairing, come down here. There's a man, somebody come, what do you come? So he makes all the shoes. Very good. He's working, his missus is playing her, playing her phone. And uh, much to my fear, there's a, uh, there you go. If you're into your dentistry, fillings are 700 bar, extraction 700 bar, cleaning 700 bar, impact, what's an impact? Uh, 2,000 bar, whitening 3,900, crown 8,000, implant specialist. And uh, to be fair, we do have a large amount of dentists here. And uh, I make no, I make no uh, hidden fact about it. I'm absolutely petrified of the dentist. I really am. I just don't want to go anywhere near them. And there's another guy doing his magic, working his magic. What do you cap? Somebody cap, what do you cap? Oh, very good. Have a good day. Um, yeah, I don't like the dentist at all. And uh, I'm not ashamed to admit that. But uh, if you are looking at getting your, your teeth all, uh, all jazzed up or whatever you need to be doing, you come here, in fairness, you're gonna find what you're looking for. A selection of watch straps. I must admit, I'm not into watches, simply because, uh, you know, it's just too hot. Too hot, it really is. Uh, but yeah, going back to the, um, the dentistry, we've got a lot of dentists here. And I don't know how the prices compare. Hello, darling, somebody come. Would you want to say hello? There you go, you can say hello. How are you, you okay? What's your name, what's your name? <laughs> what's your name, darling, what's your name? Som. Som, Som Nam Na. Oh. Nam Na. Oh. Hello, hello. Oh, my Som Nam Na. Oh, my Papa Satai, my dai, my dai, my lord. Thank you, have a good day. Bless her. Som is the uh, same for orange, orange. Yes, I know, darling, orange. <laughs> and uh, here we go, so yeah, so lots of massage places. So if you want to go back there, go and say hello to Som. And uh, Som Nam Na is the same as like, um, oh, what would you, how would you explain Som Nam Na? I mean, like whatever, whatever kind of thing, if that makes sense. So if someone's, if someone's talking to you and, uh, I don't know, they say, well, do you want to go out now? And you say, yes. And then you go out and it rains and say, see, I told you not to go out, they'll go Som Nam Na. It means like, well, up to you. There you go, there's your, uh, your tie update for today. And here we go. Oh man, my wife loves this. Mangoes, these are mangoes. And they do them with like sticky rice. They do all kind of really, really nice food. And uh, yeah, my wife loves them. And also these little snacks here, look at these. Don't know if you can see that very clearly. Calorific, not my cup of tea. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's hot guys. It really is. I know I sound like an old record, but it really is hot. But anyway, it's better to be hot than it is to be cold. I'm just going to pull me, me shorts up. I think I might be losing a few kilos. I'm really quite concerned. Some of my pants don't fit. Well, not my pants, my shorts. But yeah, some of my shorts aren't fitting. And I'm walking along the road and suddenly my waistband's round by my knees. And uh, 
you don't want to be going to see my fat ass, that's for sure. Look at these, look, look. You know, you've got to be so careful. It really is. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Still. We are, we are working our way around. You know, this, uh, this whole trip around the city and walking and driving and walking and driving, when I first said I'd do this, I honestly and truthfully thought, what an absolute waste of my time. Only because I thought it would bore the crap out of you. But it does seem that it's, uh, it's quite enjoyable. And I love it, you know, it's a bit of exercise, I get to walk around, see what's going on. So uh, it is good fun, but I have to say, it has taken, taken me to a different level where I didn't really think that this would be something that people would enjoy as much as they seem to be. So uh, thank you very much, guys, for the support. It's uh, much appreciated. And uh, we will carry on. We will keep going. Oh. Now you see this man here. Oh, I recognize that man over there. <laughs> How you doing buddy, you okay? Good. And uh, Okay, so we're up now by the junction. Just getting up here by this junction up on uh, Third Road. If you turn right up there, that leads you all the way back down to the center of Patea. And if you turn left there, do you remember I did the uh, ride around the other day? Uh, well, that's the, that's the one, that's the, uh, the, the road that leads up to where I was. Remember the Ninja Barbecue? And across the road there is a testosterone replacement. Uh, so if you need any help with anything like that, good place to go to. Across the road there, that's Tips Cafe. Now, Tips Cafe has been here a long, long time. Been here at least 10 years when I was here, uh, when I first came out here. So uh, a good sign of the times that they're, uh, they're still going. So yeah, Tips Cafe. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cross over and uh, bear with me. And we'll walk back down towards where I parked my bike. Good news is today I remembered where it is. The other day I lost where I put my bike. Okay. Whew. Tell you what, it's hot. Welcome Thank you, boss. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, good, my man. Have a great day. That's nice of you to say hello. Okay. So now I'm heading back down towards... Sorry, because I've literally just done a U-turn. And uh, heading back down. And look, you know, it's busy today. A lot of cars on the road. You've got to be careful, though. I saw a uh, particularly nasty accident yesterday. This... Uh, Two people on a motorbike, tandem, and uh, pulled out, didn't look where he was going, got T-boned. Thankfully, I think it was just superficial cuts and stuff like that. Uh, they both seemed to be able to get up, which was uh, pleasing to see. I never like to see anyone get hurt, especially on these motorbike accidents out here. Um, but yeah, didn't look where they were going, and uh, thank you. And before you know, bosh, there they were. So if you do ride a bike out here, guys, you know, be very, very careful. And the one piece of advice I can give you, and I will never get tired telling you this, is never assume that the other rider is gonna do what's logical. Always assume they're gonna do the worst thing in the world. And generally speaking, you might be able to save yourself a lot of uh, discomfort. Okay, so, yeah, you fancy some flip-flops? See, this is the thing as well, is like, I see people coming out here and uh, they bring out literally like two or three huge suitcases with all their stuff in. When I used to come out here on a regular basis, I would literally just bring hand luggage and I would come out here and I would just, just buy what I needed there. Look, house of the THC. It's a big thing at the moment now out here. It's a big, big thing. And I have made mention to it many times before. It's not my thing. I don't understand it. I don't really get involved. Well, I don't get involved in it. Uh, I have been asked, could you go and get an uh, interview with someone to talk about it? So I am in the process of trying to figure out who to talk to. I have got a couple of people in mind. One's busy, sadly, at the moment. And the other one I'm still waiting to hear back from. And uh, we can talk about it, because truthfully, I haven't got a clue what it's all about. I really haven't. But yeah, going back to uh, coming out here, 
Now see these guys, you know, they chip up with two or three suitcases and you've literally built everything as well as the kitchen sink. And I think to myself, I don't know, maybe we're different, but for me, get here, 1500 baht, down the local market, get your flip flops, get your shorts, get your t-shirts, jobs are good and away you go. I couldn't think of anything worse than standing there at that conveyor belt, watching it go round and round and round, thinking, well, I ain't seeing my case. And earlier on today, I was at the buzzing bar and uh, I was talking to a guy, he's been here three days now, three days and still no sign of his uh, suitcase. Still no sign, bless him. So uh, he's had to go and do, hello. And uh, he's had to go and do what I said. He's gone down there now. And uh, he's had to go and buy some stuff. Hello. 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 Everyone's in a good mood today, which is nice. Maybe the sun's brought out the happiness in everyone. How you doing, boss? You okay? Oh, you were watching me this morning? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Quite a lot of your shoes, actually. Oh, well, thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you. Come. Okay, well, have a great day, my friend. That's nice of him, he watches my shows and he's from Glasgow. So I'm guessing it's a bit hotter here than it is in Glasgow. <laughs> oh, I've been here three years. Oh, yeah, three years, fantastic. Have a great day, my man. So, three years, that's good. It's nice, you know, I see a lot of people that have made the move and come out here to live. And I think to myself, you know, fair play. Because at the end of the day, you know, this is a great place to live. It is a really nice place. And uh, there's a lot more to it than what people just bag it up as. You know, you go over to East Pattaya, Jomtien, Pratinak, Nakalua. You know, there's so much more to this city than what it's notoriously known for. And uh, those of you that come out here that stay in those areas, well, you will know what I'm talking about. I guess in many ways it's a bit like, you know, if you live in London, of course we've got like the Soho areas and other areas that uh, are known for what they're known for. But you've also got other areas that are completely miles away from it. And if you went over to the east side of Pattaya, if you went around by the Mapachan Lake area, uh, you know, you wouldn't even know this side existed. So it is what it is, each to their own. But yeah, come out here to retire, come out here to live. I covered this in a video not so long back about the cost of living. Obviously, things have changed slightly. Prices have gone up now, and uh, I was told the other day about uh, you know recession and the fact that uh, the cost of living in all the other countries has gone up, which I openly admitted it's something that I you know I don't follow to be truthful. I've lived here for long enough now where, to be honest with you, what goes on back in England doesn't really affect me as such. So uh, it's something I don't really pay much attention to, rightly or wrongly. But you know, you come out here, the cost of living, you could easily get by here on 70,000 baht a month, 70, 80,000 baht a month. You could, you could do all right, you could have a good time. Okay, so we are back where I started and uh, appropriately, I'm outside of 7-Eleven, so I'm gonna go and get a drink. I'm gonna wrap this up and we will call it a day. Okay, there we are. How you doing buddy, you okay? Yes, my friend. I'm good, I'm in the middle of videoing. No, 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 you're fine, no. Would you wanna say hello? Yeah. Yeah, here you go, this gentleman here. How you doing boss, what's your name? John. John, where are you from, John? England. England, whereabouts? Uh, outside, about 30 miles outside Liverpool. Oh, nice, nice. And how long have you been out here? Eight years. Eight years? I only come for a month. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I was just saying about how people come out and they set up life out here and, and how much it's so enjoyable. And, yeah. and, it's, and it's, you know, I was saying, I don't know if you agree, but I was saying about 70 to 80,000 baht a month, you can have a great time here. Oh, yeah, I don't spend that. Anyway, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant, happy days. Depends what you want. Well, indeed nice it does. You, Andrew, friends. have a great day, my friend. Thank Cheers, you so much indeed for your time. Thank you. What a nice guy. So there you go. See, I sent you about 70, 80,000, and he's living out here for less than that and having a great time. Right, all right. Whew, it's hot today. It really is. Anyway, there we go. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's walkabout. Uh, I am going to go over to Jomtien. I am going to go over to Nakaluan to Pratanat. I will cover these areas like I promised. 
just bear with me guys i'm getting there in the end i am getting there uh, so that is it for today hope you've enjoyed the walk and uh, thank you very much for watching uh, as always please remember guys hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when i bring out a new video uh, check out discord 16,700 members on there now so have a look on there and if you'd like to support the channel there is a link in the description below all right that's it for me thank you very much for watching and please as always wherever you are in the world stay safe mm -hmm.